What's up, everybody? Metal Biker Dude coming at you here. So, I did um, a song called Nightmare from Avenged Sevenfold. And uh, I got to be honest with you. I, listen, if you don't know, I'll, I'm going to share the story with you. I am uh, a bit of an old school metalhead, all right? Um, I listen to, like, doom metal. That, that's my my flavor, all right? Like uh, Corrosion of Conformity, Down, Clutch, Crowbar, stuff like that. Um, you know, back in the day, I listened to um, Pantera, um, Megadeth, older Metallica, some, are, some newer Metallica, but um, Iron Maiden, stuff like that. And... Um, I have not gotten into too much new metal. So I decided to kind of branch out. You know, I, I, I've i tried some other different types of music. I've listened to some country music. I've listened to a lot of hip hop and rap. And, um, and so I've been kind of on this journey to where I'm, I'm listening to different kinds of music. And I thought, you know, there's no reason just because I'm a metalhead. There's no reason I can't try some new stuff too. So I'm trying to break out of that. And and when I listened to Avenged Sevenfold Nightmare, I was blown away. It was really good. And I got to tell you, I I think I listened to that for the first time about two, two weeks ago, I'd say. And I've probably listened to it two dozen times since. I had a doctor's appointment earlier, and I listened to it once on the way there and once on the way back, and I just can't seem to get enough of it. So uh, I went back to my original video that I posted on it, and I saw a lot of other requests for Venge Sevenfold, and this one here seemed to be um, the one that, that got recommended the most. So I thought, you know what, um, why not? I was opening up the lens for some other videos tonight. And I thought, you know what, let's get another one on there. That way I can add, add another one to the playlist. Um, and what I do is I have a playlist going. I have a playlist for rap and hip hop and country and uh, some blues now and uh, just all kinds of different stuff. So why not? There's nothing wrong to say I can't extend my, uh, my metal base out a little bit. So that's what we're going to do. And so this one is for all of the requests on YouTube for So Far Away. It, that is what it was called. So here we go. Event Sevenfold, So Far Away. This is the original video, by, or I'm sorry, the official video. Laugh so endlessly. Saw beyond what others see. I tried to heal you broken up with all that I Uh, this is not what I was expecting. Uh, this is a lot more, uh, a lot more mellow than I expected. Um, but nevertheless, I, I really dig the acoustic guitar in there. Uh, and one thing that I, I mentioned in my last video was the singer. A um, lot of tone. I love the tone in his vocal. It's uh, he's got a tremendous amount of range. That's a given, but. There are a lot of singers out there that have a lot of range, but they're just lacking in tone. And uh, this guy, he's got all of it. He, he's he got every bass covered pretty much. Um, you can tick every box. And I, I really appreciate that. That that was one of the things that I really loved about Nightmare. I, don't give me the, the music was f phenomenal. Um, the, the drums, the bass, get, the guitar... 
Um, and by the way, real quick here, I just want to mention about Nightmare. Um, I went back and I was listening to just the bass in there, and um, the bass guitar in there was was pretty solid, man. So um, anyway, we'll get back into this, but I just wanted to make sure I point that out, that I really do love his voice. So I'm guessing that these kids that are in this video are kind of a reminiscent thing of them when they were younger. I, I'm going to back this up here a little bit, but um, first of all, that's what I was talking about right there. This, the tone, man, it just ugh, sends chills down your spine um, in a good way. And something I just realized, is this song about the Rev? Because I was reading some comments on there. Um, so I decided to look into it a little bit more. And from what I understand, um, I don't know his real name, sorry. But um, the Rev was their drummer, and apparently he had passed away. And uh, and then what made me realize it was when they were in the garage, the kids, when they were in the garage, they were paying a lot of attention to the drummer. So um, I'm, I'm guessing that, and it just hit me that that's probably what this song is about. So, uh, right on. Uh, and R.I.P. The Riff. I just noticed that the other guitar player is left-handed. And... If you didn't watch the nightmare video, um, I actually I actually play a Schechter guitar, which is what they play. And I'm not sure if this is getting in there or not, but um, he's got uh, something in there. It's called the Sustainiac, which is what this is. And that's what gives him the ability to kind of... That's what gives him the ability to kind of hold those notes and then do the little um, vibrato like that. And to, when you can hold on to a note and then bend it and, and that note sustains as long as it does, that's what that Sustainiac does in there. It's a, it's an awesome thing. But um, great solo. It wasn't too much, which I appreciate because the song is simple. It, it was unnecessary to go crazy with it. So very tastefully done. Without the ones I love Time still turns the pages of the book It's burned Placing time Always on my mind And the light you left remains But it's so hard to stay When I have so much to say Was that really him?
I got to be honest with you, man. I don't even know who this Rev was. But, I mean, obviously he was very beloved. But, um... Watching that video, I, I almost kind of got a little emotional myself, man. Oh, that was uh, that was a very well done video. Ding ding on the song. Absolutely loved that song. It had everything you want. Um. You could feel the emotion in every each instrument. You could definitely feel the emotion in the singer's vocal. Um, I love the production. I love the mix. Uh, that is a great, great song. My favorite part was the lyrics. But I think that goes to show you how much I like the lyrics because the song itself, just the music alone, was phenomenal. Everything was so tastefully done. I could go on and on here. That was a great song. Metal Biker Dude, peace.